hello everyone if you want to learn how to design this wedding invite card stick around to the end of this video subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video so these are the resources i'll be using for this tutorial this is the background and the ring i'll be using and i've already typeset all the write-ups i'll be using for this design the first thing i'm going to do is to set my size click on the rectangle tool and create a shape then set the unit to inches and click on the shape and change the size to five by seven inches just like this one and this is the size press p on your keyboard to place your shape on the center of this workspace then the next thing i will do is to power clip my background inside the shape it's either you click on the background right click and click on power clip inside then place it inside the shape or you right click on the design and take it to the shape then you see these options then you click power clip inside and your background is inside the shape then i'm going to press alternate on my keyboard then click on the shape inside and reduce the background to fit this shape here just as this one okay right click here to take off the outline of this shape then press shift on your keyboard and reduce this shape this way now the purpose of pressing shift is because i want to reduce this shape equally then right click before you leave to duplicate this shape you can see i have two shapes now i'll press ctrl z then i want to remove this background on the second shape so i will easily right click on the shape and click on extract content then delete the background you can see now i have my other shape here then to take off this x on this um, shape here right click on the shape click on frame type and none then you have this here and i'm going to adjust my shape again just like this okay and the next thing i'm going to do is to fill this shape with purple i'll click on blue purple then press shift and click on the background again because i want to edit the content inside my power clip and i'm going to click on the transparency tool and click on fountain transparency then you have this transparency here just like this okay click on shape tool to adjust this shape this way I think this is nice this way and click on pen to and create this shape here you can delete this other node off so you get this angle like this and press shift select this other shape and trim then you have this edge with this type of design give it a white color and take off the outline and with this i think the the card is set it's left with the write-ups for the card and i'm going to copy my write-ups here and paste it here I'll change this font and give it another typeface.
this is the typeface I'll be using for this right up here and I'll give it purple centralized remember when you are designing things like this you have to centralize all your type so it looks very nice you give it a center alignment and also copy this Now give it another typeface which is vegan style. Okay. This is vegan style. I'll centralize it. Now the shortcut to centralize elements in your design is simply selecting the element you want to centralize and press shift and select the shape you want to centralize with and press c on your keyboard and this is a simple way to centralize objects in your design i'm just pasting all the write-ups one after the other I can give this a um, red color. I think eleven point is okay. And I'll paste this here also. Change it to change case to title case. and give it this typeface vegan style also 12 points and i can change this color to red also then i will set this line with my pen tool now when creating this line press shift on your keyboard to ensure you are on a straight line you can see when i leave the shift key my line breaks this way but pressing the shift key will help my line to be on a straight line then i will change the i'll change the point of my uh, hairline to 10 points sorry 1.0 points then i'll change my typeface to gisha and change the font size to 11 and place it here centralize now i will still create more emphasis on how to centralize elements in your design simply clicking on the element and press shift and click on the shape and press c on your keyboard will help you to centralize the element for example if this text was here and i want to centralize it first placing it on its normal position and press shift select the shape you want to centralize it with and press c and you can see the text is centralized now create this shape here i can give it this color okay control page down to send this shape to the back so this text can be reviewed and give it white okay and I'll copy this change the case to title case and centralize and change the typeface to vegan style 
and click on this shape tool and adjust the line spacing press shift click on the shape press C to centralize again then I'm going to play with this font here You know, I once talked about focal points in a design. Every design has a focal point. In this case, my focal point is solemnization of holy matrimony. So I have to make my focal point large enough and beautiful at the same time. That is why I'm adjusting it this way. I think I can bring this down a little. Okay and I'll copy this also and I'll change this to 11 point and place it here centralize and copy this ok click on this and click on center to centralize these names click on text change case to title case and change it to vegan style and I, you can see this and that is on the center is not visible because this typeface does not have that particular character so i'm going to use another typeface that has that character which is Gisha, you can see it's visible now, and I'll make it bold. Give this another color. And then copy this and paste here change the text to gisha and change the font size to 10 centralize press shift click on the shape and press c to centralize then take this upwards now make this bold and give it another color And also give this another color change this to Gisha make it 10 points make this bold and give it another color and also make this bold and give it another color okay now i can centralize this first shift click on the shape and centralize also now you can see my text is hitting on the edges which i don't want it to be so so i can still reduce this to nine points okay and also change this to this star and make it nine points take this bold and give it another color okay now i'm going to copy this and paste them separately I'm going to paste all of them separately. Okay, select all and change the typeface to Gisha. Change this to nine 
point and you can arrange it this way okay and I'm going to set this like this and I'm just adjusting all this type so it fits what I want now a simple way I use in adjusting this type is working with my alignment and working with my with my shortcut keys yeah I use T to align to the top and I use L to align to the left and I use R to align to the right L for left and I use B to align to the bottom it's very simple you can check that after watching this video just try aligning objects in your design using T for top B for bottom L for left and R for right and C for center it's very simple I'm going to make this bold and make these names go just like this okay and I'll place this here and reduce this a little and I'll copy this most times people ask what the meaning of RSVP if you know the meaning of RSVP you can let me know down the comments and that would be nice okay I'm going to rotate this like this I think I'm too fast I need to do this again okay click on the text click here after you get those curve press control on your keyboard and rotate so you can rotate it in a even way like this okay I'll reduce this and fix here then I'll give it a red color and I'll copy this change the typeface to Gisha and font size to 9 points and I'll place it here since this is taking much space I'm going to place it here okay this is very nice I make this bold you know okay I have to give this their color because they have their purple color here sorry purple and gold okay I think I should click here and hold to get other gold color options like this as you can see it's very okay now my ring will come in here control page up to bring it to the front place it here like this and duplicate this and this is how I duplicate click on the object drag and right click at any position you want it to be done and this is what I would like to do here I'll select these shapes and do it then press ctrl x and you see these options down here when you click this shape you see options like edit power clip so I'm going to edit my power clip where I have my background and I'm going to press ctrl v to paste the shape I copied because I want the shape to be inside the package so I'm going to 
click on stop editing content to have it this way and click on this right click and take it to the shape then you see power clip inside then click on power clip inside press alternate click on the ring then click on transparency tool and click on uniform transparency to have this like this and i'm going to mirror this click on mirror vertically okay this is done and i'm going to adjust my transparency again to okay i think i'm okay with 78 and i'm going to copy this down here remember i'm still editing all this inside my power clip so i'm going to right click this here and click on mirror vertically again and take this upwards So this is done and I think this is the final look of this wedding card. Now you've been able to see how simple and easy it is to design this custom wedding invite and this is my first video on wedding card designs or wedding invite designs on this playlist. So kindly check us i have more videos coming up on wedding invite and i'll be producing i'll be designing many videos on wedding invites that are more critical and they are more tricky than this one but for the start as a beginner you can start with this one thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn any other design click on any of the videos on your screen and make sure you watch them and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you and you see me next time